Wizard of West LA here. Let's look at transistors. It's basically a current switch or a type of gate. Now this is a picture of one of my favorite transistors, the 2N2222. It has three pins, emitter, the base, and the collector. So let's look at what that looks like as a schematic, its symbol. This is the transistor symbol. And this is laid out with the base, the collector, and the emitter. Current will flow through here, and that will turn this on where a large amount of current this way can flow through there. Let's look at a basic use of the transistor. So here is the basic circuit. That's 66 ohms and that's a 100 ohm resistor. The way this circuit is laid out from the battery here all the way around, this should go on. It'll keep going in a circle like that. What is stopping it is right here. That is preventing the LED from going on. What happens, as I said in the beginning, is the circuit flow goes from here and around here. That turns this on. When that switch is closed right here, this will turn on and allow all the flow to go through here. So let's take a look at that. So here's the circuit using a simulator. If I touch it, turn the switch on, the LED is on. And you can see all the flow of where everything goes. The transistor is now on and the LED goes on. And if I turn it off, the transistor is off and will not allow that flow across the collector and the emitter. And that is basically how a transistor works. So let's see what this actually looks like using a breadboard. I will set so here is the breadboard side of it. And on this one, I have it at 3.3 volts. These are, 100, these are both 150 ohm resistors. And this LED handles 20 milliamps up to about 1.9 volts or two volts. So let's follow this circuit. The positive line goes to a switch, and then the other side goes to the base, like this schematic. The other side has a positive line going to a resistor, going to the LED, going to the collector. The emitter is this line, going to ground. The way this stands right now, the collector to the positive line is off because nothing is flowing on this side between the base and the emitter. Nothing is flowing. When I push the button, it flows and it turns on the other side. So that is how it looks on the breadboard. So if you like the video, feel free to give us a thumbs up and also feel free to subscribe to the channel as we will be doing a lot of different circuits and interesting things like this to learn about transistors. So remember, keep on learning.